Good morning YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing and talking about the Discmania Method. Let's see what happens. Now a while ago, before Paul Macbeth left Innova, the Rock 3 was kind of the Innova classic go-to mid-range. And I kind of fell in love with it. It was so great. The flat top, it was overstable. Nowadays, they're just not as stable anymore. We're going to see why here in a minute. We're going to compare some of the older plastics, some of the newer plastics, and look at what the method might offer to replace that mid-range slot. Now, if you look, on the right is my old Rock 3. And then on the left is a much newer Champion Rock 3. So what I want you to look at right here is that parting line. Basically, right there, the newer parting line is much lower, meaning it's not going to be as overstable. So even though it's super flat top, similar to this one, that's what creates the stability right there. If we were to compare the old Rock 3 to the Neo Method from Discmania, it's pretty similar. Now, it's probably going to sit a little bit different because it is newer and doesn't have all the dinged up edges and stuff. So it's going to look a little bit different. But this method may be, it may be basically just the old style Rock 3s. Starting to really like that dip. Now the thing with this mania is they used to be produced by Innova. They are no longer produced by Innova, but I'm wondering if Innova is changing something with their mold. And this mania realized that they could get away with basically copying the old style mold because it has very, very similar that that lip at the bottom, that extra bead at the bottom, very similar. Um, dugout rim right here on that lip they do have basically the same flight numbers which i'm confused about because the rock 3 still has the flight numbers of 5403 the method 5503 but if i were to throw this rock 3 the same way i throw this method this is going to be much more straight or even understable compared to the method let's go see what i mean here we have some some shot that you might use a mid-range for, right? Dead straight tunnel shot right through the middle of the woods. With this method, I would try soft flex. With this Rock 3, I'd almost have to hyzer flip it to put it straight. Soft flex with the method first. Really nice and straight. Late fade at the end. Same soft flex with the new Rock 3. doesn't come out of the hand exactly the same way and if it hadn't hit that tree we'd have got almost as far right which is unfortunate for what we consider to be an overstable midrange. Now here's a shot where the basket is up and to the left. I'm going to try to throw both of these flat. We're going to see just how much more the method fades than this supposedly overstable midrange. Now, to be fair, I grip locked both of them, but the method hit a branch, which gave it Anheuser, and it still finished further left than this Rock 3 that hit nothing. In my experience, these newer Rock 3s fly a lot more like a Buzz or like a Mako, more in the negative 1 1 range than in the 0 3, which is not what I'm looking for for an, able sta for an overstable mid range. Now, in my experience, the Rock 3 was always a disc that you could count on to be torque resistant, reliable in the wind. There is no wind today, and it's already turning over. And especially talking about torque resistance, I used to use both on my Rock Hand for both backhand and forehand. Let's see what a Rock 3 nowadays does on a forehand, because it's not the same. turn a 
little bit and then fade back. However, with these new Champion Rock 3s, even the Champion version not stable enough. I had to put it on so much more hyzer and it still flipped all the way to flat. If I had thrown that thing actually flat, it would have gone left, which is not what you want for 5403 mid-range to do. In closing and for final thoughts, Innova, I don't want to diss them, but this Rock 3, no longer what they used to be. This method, definitely what the Rock 3 was designed to be or originally started out as when I first started playing disc golf. This is the mid-range that I've been looking for for the last five or six years. Somehow I wasn't able to place my hands on it before, but this is a great mid-range. Going to give you a long straight flight with a little bit of fade and finish at the end. It's going to be more stable, more wind resistant than something like the Iron Samurai, but not so beefy as to if you were to throw on Mutant from Discmania. So this really fits into their lineup really nice and well. And I'm going to have fun throwing this method in a lot of fairways.